City and the history that lives there. Good morning, Justin. Well, yeah, good morning. A lot of rich history there. Harris Stowe was born of the all white Harris Teachers College in 1857 and the all black Stowe Teachers College in 1890. The two schools merged after the Supreme Court's decision in Brown versus Board of Education that mandated public school integration. Harris Stowe was designated a teacher's college. That meant state law banned it from granting any master's programs. Harris Stowe's current president, Dr. Dwan Warmack, arrived in 2014 and just knew there needed to be a change. So after a state bill passed in 2015, the restrictions were removed. Warmack is one of the youngest serving presidents of a four year institution in the nation. A historically black college and university or HBCU, he says it represents St. Louis very well. Warmack says they have been intentional about not raising tuition in spite of major state budget cuts. So we've been criticized for that, like who don't understand the mission of an institution that serves kids from lower socioeconomic backgrounds. But not just that, 78% are first in their family in 2018 to go to college. And so you think about the transformation. And so because of our commitment to those students and seeing them to and through the finish line, I just refuse to put it on their backs just because the state cut our budget. Now, Dr. Warmack says Harris Stowe is focused on the whole student academically, personally and socially. I found out one more thing. In 2014, there were only 14 degree programs offered at Harris Stowe. Now it's up to 51. We're live in the newsroom this morning. I'm Justin Andrews, News 4. Justin, thank you.